altitudes and ortho centers is next. So here we are. For numbers 24 through 27, find the ortho center of the triangle with the given vertices. Okay, so we got these, th these three points. We got a plot, negative 4, negative 9, way down here. Negative 4, positive 6, 5, negative 3. Okay, and we want to find the ortho center. Now, how do you find an ortho center? Well, we talked about this before. All ortho centers are found with altitude, right? Like it says. So what I'm going to need to do is find the slope of all these three, UV, VW, and UW. Okay? So remember, what am I doing? I'm going, oh my goodness. There we go. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to find the slopes over here, and I'm going to do perpendicular over here. So for for UV, that's a straight up and down. That's undefined, right? VW goes. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's negative 9 over 9, which is negative 1 over 1. UW is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 over 9, which reduces to 2 thirds. Now these are my three slopes, and now I need to write perpendicular slopes. The opposite reciprocal of undefined is 0. The opposite reciprocal of negative 1 over 1 is positive 1 over 1. And the opposite reciprocal of 2 thirds is negative 3 over 2. Now those perpendicular slopes for altitudes are done at the third vertex. So for the UV slope, it's going to be at W. For the VW slope, it's going to be at U. And for the U W vertex is going to be at V. So let's do that. We want a zero slope at W. Zero slope is going to go straight to the left. It's so going to give us a nice horizontal line. And we know it's perpendicular. Great. Then 1 over 1 at U. So starting at U, it's going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. They're going to make a nice straight line. All right, and that's going to be, again, perpendicular. And then last but not least, negative 3 over 2 at V. So from V, down 3 over 2, down 3 over 2. We can make our straight line from V. And then we're going to have another perpendicular altitude. And they all cross right there at two, negative three, okay? So how did I do altitude and ortho center? I found my slopes, I found my perpendicular slopes, and it was at the third vertex, okay? Not at the midpoints, okay? That's going to be perpendicular bisectors. That's for circumcenter, all right? Then we got another one. So once again, we're going to plot these points. Negative 5, 8. Okay, we got P there. 4, 5. We got Q there. R, negative 2, 5. Okay, we got that there. Connect these dots. All right. So once again, let's do slopes. We got PR, PQ, QR. So for PR, I'm looking at it, it goes down 3, right 3. That's negative 1 over 1, okay? Because it was negative 3 over 3, which equals negative 1 over 1. RQ is horizontal, that's 0. And then Q, or that's, that's uh, this last one's supposed to be QP, so... Sorry about that. A 
little. All right, so QP is down 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's negative 3 over 9, which is negative 1 third. Okay? Now, opposite reciprocal slopes for perpendicular. Opposite reciprocal of negative 1 over 1, positive 1 over 1. Opposite reciprocal of 0 is undefined. Opposite reciprocal of negative 1 over 3 is positive 3 over 1. And this is going to be, remember, the third vertex is going to be at Q at uh, P. And this one's going to be at R. So let's do that. 1 over 1 at Q. 1 over 1. can also be down 1, left 1. Either way, we get this nice... So that's an altitude because if I continue this, it makes a right angle. Okay. Then undefined at P means going straight down. It's going to be a vertical line. I have to start actually on the line. There we go. And again, if I continue this line, it's going to be perpendicular. And then last but not least, 3 over 1 at R. So at R, up 3 over 1, or down 3, left 1. Sorry about that. Either way, we get perpendicular line. Again, put all these are perpendicular, their altitudes, and they all cross right there. This one's at negative 5, negative 4. All right? So remember, an obtuse triangle has an orthocenter outside. Also, same can be said about circumcenter. All right, so that was... Twenty-seven's done the same way. Check. Check. Twenty-seven's done the same way.
perpendicular bisectors and circumcenters. You want to label that. And then over here. And then right here. And what we know about perpendicular bisectors is that they make equal distances to each vertex. So put four on that. So NR from N to R is equal to N to P, N to P. Is that RV has three ticks, so it does right here. So these are both the same. because V is a midpoint. And then TR is the same as QT. They both have two tick marks. And then right here, QN is the same as PN and RN. Just like we've done before on perpendicular bisectors and circumcenters. Let's do the same right here. And then from the center to the vertex. CF equals AF. YC is the same as YB. DB is equal to AD. And AY is equal to YB.